Listen, I know some of y'all ain't going to believe this, but listen, pain is your information. Pain is your information, honey. When I heard that, I was like, that's fire. Because one of my favorite scriptures is it was good that I was afflicted because pain can be your wake up call. Listen, y'all, listen, I got a good one for y'all today. So stay tuned. Hey, y'all, it's Bernita Rochelle and welcome to my spoken word and conversation, y'all. Listen, we're going to get right up into this one right here, right now. Remember, I'm not cross out of it is to her or the glasses. Listen, I wrote this on September 20th, 2024. Let me tell you, pain is your information. When your body aches, It is telling you that something is wrong. Listen, pain is your information. When that joker from that relationship that you are in lays paws on you and gives you the one, two and three knockout, he didn't gave you your information. He then gave you your information. Pain is information. Pain is your wake up call. So stop. Stop ignoring it. You know, when something hurts, that means something is wrong. Listen, if they get If they got you crying every day, they didn't blackballed you. They didn't made everyone turn against you because of their manipulation. Why would you want to be in something like that? You're crying every day. You think about how they treated you. Pain is your information. Listen. Why would you want to be around those type of people? Pain is your information. Listen, ooh, listen. When I heard that, now I my one of my favorite scriptures is it was good that I was afflicted, and you know I'll put it up there. But when I heard, um, I was listening to uh, Good Living with Hurl. I think that's what it's called. Good living. One of my favorite channels, you know, and he said that your body will give you information and pain is information. If you really thought about it, pain is information. And now I'm about to get into my thoughts. Right. Um, I was trying to figure out like why I'm just going to throw some in there. Like why my the bottom of my leg was getting was rolling a little bit like my ankle. I was like, this is not normal here. Right. So then I listened to him and, um, he starts juicing. He juices a lot. And so I got into, I'm into juicing now. And I'm telling you, I started drinking and I'm not trying to get, I'm not no health person. I'm just telling you what happened to my body, but I'm also about to get back into this pain, right? So anyway, I started drinking grapes and uh, lemon. It's only two things. I juiced it up. My son, he was like, mom, I'm gonna get you a juicer. And he bought me a juicer, right? (laughs) He bought me a juicer. And I'll tell you, it has changed my life, man. I'm telling you, I have lost weight. And you can kind of see with the skin, how it does with your skin. I've only I've done I juiced for four days straight and drank water. That was good. Then the weekend, I kind of threw some vegetables, man, listen here. 
I, you know, you try to do this vegan stuff. I do not eat meat, right? I have not eaten meat, but I've substitu- substituted with mushrooms. But we, I'm sitting up here eating all these beans and all this stuff like that. No, that don't work for my body. My body needs vegetables and all that kind of good stuff. But let me get, go and get back on to this here. So anyway... I was listening to her and I was like, wow, that makes so much sense. When you say that pain is information, because think about it. Remember that saying we used to always say, like the kids, they want to touch the stove. We'd be like, don't touch that stove, it's hot. But then when they finally touch that stove, they get burnt. That was their information. Now, we didn't told them this information to stop, but they want to just go. Home. But that was information for them to be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, that was hot. I don't want to touch that no more. OK, like when you think about it, you sitting up here crying every day because of somebody that didn't set up here didn't hurt you. Excuse me. They didn't set up here, then hurt you, and you constantly crying. I don't know what I did. I don't know. You know what? Listen here. That's your sign. That's your information. That means that though that's hurting you, separate yourself. That does not mean that you don't love nobody. But if somebody got you crying every day and somebody, they steady got you on this hamster wheel, they're taking advantage of you. And you're steady crying. If they're taking advantage of you and you're steady crying, that's your information. Don't stick around that and stop ignoring those aches and pains. Okay. Those aches and pains are information. Pain has been sending us information for years. Years upon years, and we have ignored it. Hante, pain is information. Listen, listen. When I heard that, I was like, this is good. Because think about it. Just think about whatever caused you pain, whether it be a relationship, it be your aches and pains mentally, it could be anything. That's information. And it's up to you to do what you need to do to fix it. It's up to you. Either you're going to stay in the pain or you're going to do something about the pain. Okay. But pain is information. I'm telling you, it was good that I was afflicted. When I say that, I meant that because every pain that I heard that I had, I learned from it. And believe it or not, you going to learn from it too. So you better be trying to figure out where them pains is. <laughs> not just body pains, pains that make you cry, all them type of pains. Think about whatever, think right now, write your list. What's hurting me? Dun, dun, dun. If it's hurting you, get out. <laughs> Let it go, get out, move away, separate yourself, do what you have to do, okay, y'all. But that's all I got on that one, y'all. But listen, thank you to my new ones and thank you to my day ones. Y'all been riding with a girl and I am so appreciative of that. But that's it. That's all for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.